guys, so literally I'm having one of those Saturdays where you stay in pajamas all day long and you do nothing useful, which is not true because I actually worked this morning from 7 till 11. But after that, there was a nap. Um, I had some tea. I've played some games on my phone, like nothing useful. So I thought I would do this really fun video that I saw other actually Canadian YouTubers doing, uh, Making Up Ashley and Samantha Jane YT. I will link their channels below. They don't know me outside of me like stalking them on Instagram and YouTube and commenting on their videos, but they did this video called um, Palette Bingo where they drew numbers out of a hat and they did, they picked their most colorful palette. I can't talk today. And they did an eye look with it and see whether or not they ended up looking a hot mess. And I was having fun with makeup. Literally like so lazy today. Like my hair, oh I had like a 30 minute shower too. This is my hair air dry, like the nothing to it. And then I thought I would play around with a liquid lipstick that I never wear. This is Stila Stay All Day in Pantina. And it makes my teeth look brown. And I'm not a lipstick liquid person. Like I already want to put lip gloss on. I really am curious about the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Um, so if you have those and you find that they're, whichever one you find the least drying, please comment below. Like I've had so many fails this week. Like once the camera focuses on these, focus. I may, tried to do nail art and I ended up with like dinosaur nails. So I have all four of the Vice palettes that were special and I asked Nathan to tell me which ones were, which one was the most colorful, Nathan being my husband. So I have palette Vice one with a sad missing, oh this side, eyeshadow. And then I have Vice two, is this one. I have Vice 3 because I have problems, which is this one, which is probably my least favorite. And then I have Vice 4, which is this one. Uh, Nathan chose Vice 1, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to call him and ask him to randomly tell me some numbers, and we're going to do, these have 20 eyeshadows in it, so we're going to do 1 through 20, 1 starting here, 20 being there, so like 1, 2, 3, you get it, right? So then I'll point out and I'm going to tell him to pick four numbers and hopefully he's, he answers his phone. I did pre-warn him about this and that he'd be on speaker. I look really pale in my new lighting. So we are calling Nathan or Nate to the after room. Hello? Hello. I would like you to pick four numbers from one through 20, please. Because I, because I told you, because I'm doing this makeup video, the palette okay, bingo. Okay. Um, twelve. Twelve. Twenty-one. Seven. Seven. Eighteen. Eighteen. And three. And three. Okay, thank you. I love you. You're welcome. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. All right. So he picked twelve, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Good thing you didn't pick 11 because I don't have that. 12. So that's Rapture, which is this like purple color. And then he picked 7. 5, 6, 7. Oh god, that's Chaos, which is this electric blue. And then he picked 18. Oh, thank god, which is Anonymous, which is this like nude color. And then he picked 3? Chit. Hello. Hello, what was the last number you picked? I forgot. Three. Three, okay, good. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. All right, so one, two, three is this jagged, which is this like green color. So I am to create a look with these and see what kind of hot mess I end up with. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Welcome to my armpit and now my face. Um, okay, I have my makeup brushes here. I'm not even gonna bother with primer because I'm clearly is not leaving the house. So obviously I'm going to start with Anonymous and just put that shit everywhere. Oh god, I have no idea. I'm going to look so pretty. I think this is fun. Like it gets you out of your makeup box and I'm just going to wipe off these eyeshadows on my pajama bottoms. I think I'm going to 
smoke out the lower line with chaos. I'm going to put some anonymous down first just so it has something to blend on. It's probably going to make my eye water. This particular eye here can handle makeup on the lower half about 60% of the time. The other percent of the time it waters and this really pigmented blue. Ready? I feel so pretty. Oh, so pretty. This is such a fun color. I'm going to a Blue Jays game, so I think that I will break this eyeshadow because it's like literally, that's our uh, local baseball team, the Toronto Blue Jays. Oh, Some serious blue follow and a whole lot of, and I'm gonna like, work with what I've done. I'm gonna take this little, I didn't even clean my brushes for this. I'm gonna take this like fluffier brush and kind of like blend out this under eye hot mess that I have going on. I think it's just gonna end up looking like I punched myself. This is clearly not a tutorial on how to do your makeup. Okay, I got some blue up in that corner, so we are going to go with it. And blend it out so it's just a hint there. Okay, so now I have this green jagged color and this purple rapture color. I think I'm going to do the purple on the inside. Oh, the fallout on these. I'm never buying a vice palette again. I rarely reach for these. Like, they're fun, but... They're just not the eyeshadows that I reach for, and like this color does not impress me much. Although sometimes I wear this color in my crease and with a fluffy brush, and I thought I liked that. Forgot. So far, all I've done is made myself look like I've gotten punched. This is awesome. These are not colors that go together nicely. I feel like somebody like Jeffree Star could be like, girl, I can make that work. Also was watching his videos on his highlighter today and oh my God, totally like saving now. I look like I got punched, just an FYI. But I decided that when I did this, I was going to go big or go home. Like why half-ass something? This is like not a pigmented eyeshadow. It's kind of, can you see? Oh, <laughs> punched. I cannot see how long I will be wearing this for. Look at the fallout on that. All right, now I'm gonna take a blending brush, my MAC 217, and dip into that green jagged color and put that in my crease, cause you know, go big or go home. And I need a crease color, so why not purple fading into olive green with a blue? This color sucks. Oh, I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I don't even know what this color is good for, but not for the crease. This is why I don't reach for these. Like they're, when you swatch them, you're like, yes, girl, yes, so good. I clearly have been watching a lot of Jeffree Star today. Um, and then you go to use them, you're like, that is a chalky, oh dear, what did I do there? Just erase it with some more anonymous. Like, look at this fallout. So if you're a glam bot buyer and you are looking at this vice palette, I don't recommend it. The most recent vice to me has the nicest eyeshadows. Um, I want that blue on my under eye to be more blue because, you know, oh, let's just... Get rid of more fallout. But I'd like this to be more blue. So we're gonna take this little pencil brush. The only color I like out of all this is this chaos color. And I think I'm gonna use it to make like a winged eyeliner. In this outer corner. I think on the days that I'm lazy and I'm not doing makeup, I'm gonna do a lot more of these like stupid fun videos because they're fun and I'm on a very serious May no buy unless I can get on the ColourPop website today, which if anybody else is trying to buy ColourPop, you know that the struggle is real. Like 
They broke, they done and broke the internet and I really want to try their eyebrow pencils and their satin lip things, but mostly their eyebrow pencils. Yes, Blue Wing, yes. No. Mm -mm. This is so bad. This is um, a tutorial on how never, ever, ever to put makeup on your face. Mixing with these particular colors. We're gonna put some of this anonymous beige color in our inner corner to highlight because you know what this is missing? Like a strong highlight. I feel like that's what will make this better. Nope. I don't know how to make this better. This is so ugly and I'm totally putting this up because I don't take myself too seriously. But like, can you see the like discoloration? I feel like there's blue eyeshadow everywhere in my life. I'm totally washing my face before I even go downstairs. Just more blue eyeshadow, Cam. Okay? Just pack that shit on. Because it's the best one out of the group. Okay. I uh, feel so good about that. Let's um, add some eyeliner. Go big or go home on the wings. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feeling good about this? I feel like I need a little bit of like blending underneath here to make this look less atrocious. All right, we are gonna apply some mascara using my little Buxom sample. Cause do you wanna, this look needs some lashes. Clearly that's what it's missing. And like about a million inches less fallout. I don't even know, like let's take some instant age rewind and like attempt to cover oh I look like a ghost where's my blush brush let's just take what's left on that and apply more let's just pile on the blush because I look sick like super sickly this is a Stila blush in it's a custom color brush. Apparently it's self-adjusting coral, which I call bullshit on that. I feel like it, every color looks different on every single skin tone. Um, things are pretty true to pan on me because of the tone of my skin. So, um, here's pretty much, where's my blending brush? Let's just blend upwards. Is it cheating if I put a little bit of like a sparkly inner highlight if I use a highlighter? Oh, I can't open my drawer right now. Like what if I grab this physician, is this cheating? I don't know. I'm making up my rules as I go and I'm just gonna grab this white color and I feel like this, what this look is missing is like a nylon-esque inner highlight. Yeah, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's reverse a little bit because you guys are really close to this look. And uh, there is my palette bingo finish look. We did some fierce rings, barely any lashes because I was feeling lazy. And it is with this and it's ugly. But like, I feel like I saved it a little bit. Like I feel like if you saw me on the, no, you would think I'm batshit crazy. So this video is for fun. I was not, absolutely not trying to do like an amazing look. I was trying to use every single color and the only colors I reach for in the pan is this bottom row here and this Penny Lane color. Um, and then sometimes I've used like this pink when I've needed to do like th that particular color. But this like, a lot of the colors in this were, they look like mud, like they just did. They look like mud, so. 
This is just how, this is how we do it. Oh, and tomorrow, it's gonna be May. Sorry, Justin Timberlake, you guys will probably think I'm cracked. Well, thank you so much for watching. I also have a giveaway on my channel, so please make sure you check out that video. I will link it down below. It goes until May 5th. Um, the instructions for that giveaway is at the very end of the video. If you uh, liked this and you want to see me do more looks like this, say no. But if you like my channel and find me fun, please subscribe and um, like this video if you want to see me do more fun challenges. Like I'm thinking about trying the five minute makeup challenge, but being as this took me 18 minutes and 54 seconds, uh, I feel like it's going to be worse than this. So hmm, this is what I look like. Mm -hmm. Let's just get right up close on that. At least my lighting's good. So thank you for watching. I said this and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Bye.